Good morning, everyone, and uh, I want to thank you for joining us on this glorious late winter day. I'm pleased to report that tremendous progress is underway, and the proof is right here. There are a lot of things underway, and I just want to recap what those are. Uh, you, I think most people know that we purchased that plot of land. The United States government purchased that plot of land. Uh, next door and we are combining these two plots of land and we are going to have this wonderful location in downtown Podgorica for many many decades to come if not in perpetuity. The concert annex as you can tell is under construction. Also we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that these guys here are also engaged in a project to build a new perimeter around these two plots of land. A perimeter is that's going to encircle and enclose the future Embassy Podgrits is the future new embassy uh, compound which will be constructed in several years and which will finally, that will finally resolve the space issues in a permanent way by uh, leading to the construction of a safe, secure, functional and hopefully pleasant working environment. I want to finish by remarking on the second reason I wanted us all to gather here today. These buildings which are going up are a lot more than just concrete and rebar and glass and ductwork and wiring and so forth. And there are a lot more than just simply rooms where we write memos and uh, hold meetings and, and plan events and so forth. These buildings that are going up, they represent the, in a very literal way, the concrete commitment of the United States to this relationship and to the future of this relationship. We're putting up buildings which are going to be lasting for decades and maybe even longer. And these buildings are going to be standing as we, as we work here, as our successors work here, and as our two countries face the challenges not only of the 21st century, but probably beyond that. And this is not a small commitment on the part of the United States. What you're seeing here, the purchase of this property, the modular unit, this perimeter project, and this project, we're talking over $20 million of U.S. taxpayer money going into these projects. And there will be tens of millions more which will be uh, invested into building the new embassy compound in a few years when that happens. And let's not forget the many millions that we're going to be spending in terms of running these missions the next couple of years, and many years I should say, and the tens of millions probably in additional assistance funds which we're going to be providing to the people of Montenegro. And on top of that, put all those millions together and remember that the United States has invested about according to my best guess, about $300 million in Montenegro, U.S. government monies over the last 10 years or so. These are significant amounts of money and it very much underscores the seriousness of the United States to the commitment to this uh, relationship with one of our newest partners in the world.